puts it in deep to make it 42-39. He has five points. Again, Kansas playing without their star guard, Kurt Heinrich, all pet. Big uh, 12, injured an ankle, will not return. Saravalli hawked by Boshi outside. Mead with Miles. Well, after every stoppage of action, when Kansas comes out after timeout, they try to increase their pressure defensively, but the cross has been able to handle it. Nice drive by me, but he can't get the shot. Collison rebound, sets up Miles. He takes a rare shot. And Saravalli tips it to Zatko. Holy Cross' ability to rebound with the bigger, stronger, taller Jayhawks has been part of this story. And it has given them a reason to believe, and it really started midway through that, that first half by chasing down a lot of loose rebounds. And Patrick Worley leads Holy Cross now with a dozen. Leads all scores with 12. Gooden. Zacka holding his ground. Gooden underneath to Miles, and he connects. Good pass by Drew Gooden, 44-41. The Crusaders lead with six minutes gone, second half. Now with Heinrich on the shelf right now, Kansas has to run their offense through Drew Gooden or Nick Collison. They've got to get a touch every slow time down the floor, at least one of them. Kicked by Miles to Holy Cross, and we're going to see for the first time Brett Ballard makes his first appearance at guard. If you look at the Midwest brackets, Kansas Holy Cross will meet the winner of Stanford, number eight against number nine, Western Kentucky to follow. That game features the two big seven-foot centers, Marcus and uh, for Curtis Orchard Orchard. for uh, Stanford. Holy Cross is out, rebounded, Kansas 25-24. Oh, Brett Ballard with a hold away from the ball. Late in the first half, in fact, the final minute, Kirk Heinrich, he gets his own rebound, he scores, watch the circle as he comes down on an, another player's foot and twists that ankle. It is not broken, but x-rays uh, being negative don't tell the whole story. It's serious enough that he will definitely not return the rest of this game. He's now back in the locker room and hopefully be ready should Kansas win for Saturday as they ice that ankle. Jave Mead, Wilson, Gooden almost a steal, and uh, Holy Cross retains possession with 13 seconds on the shot clock. Uh, not only is Kirk Heinrich the emotional leader and the inspiration for this Kansas team, he was the lone Jayhawk in the closing minutes of that first half who was able to get anything going offensively. He wasn't able to knock down any outside jump shots, but was starting to take the ball to the basket and be very effective, scoring nine points. And they certainly miss his presence on the defensive end. He may be as tough a defensive guard as there is in the country. No foul on Gooden off the fake by Zatko, and the fans don't like that. Three-point game. Collison, Gooden with a follow, and Drew Gooden cuts the lead to one. Ten points for him. Kansas fans on their feet. And Ballard in there now trying to take the higher goal of at least putting pressure on the backcourt. But Jave Mead slips inside for the scooper. He now has nine. And the foul to Worley, and the fans are saying, hey, that's what happened at the other end. You didn't blow the whistle. <laughs> well, take a look at this with Tim Zatko actually going straight up. The <laughs> he is entitled to that space, and this is what Drew Gooden does so well, playing off the ball, getting to the offensive board. And then Ballard unable to maintain that pressure on job A.B. as me just wore him down, took him to the basket. All they were looking for was just a couple of minutes of energy from Ballard. Boshi back in. 46-43, Holy Cross. 12 and a half to go. And Gooden making that strong move and fouled before he got there. Since 95, Kansas seeded number one four times, the three previous times, unable to 